Hi everyone. In this video, we'll take a look at how to get started with the new Ultra Grand V control. This control is part of 2010 Volume 1 release of Infra 6 Windows Forms product. The Ultra Grand View allows you to mimic Microsoft project like UI and functionality right within your applications. So I have what I have in front of me is a blank Windows. So what I have in front of me is Visual Studio 2008 with a blank Windows Forms application. I'm going to come here to my toolbox and drag and drop a Ultra Gantry control onto my form because that is what the Ultra Gantry is made out of. On the view side, it's all when, when that displays the information on the left hand side and the right hand side. So, just like in Microsoft Project, you have Task View on the left, which is basically an expandable grid, and on the right hand side, you have the timeline control. So, you get the nice bars and summary bars and so on and so forth been displayed, relaying information about the projects or anything you want to display within your applications. So now that we have the Gantt view on the page, what we need for our binding layer is the Ultra Calendar Info object. So I'm going to come here to my toolbox and drop the Ultra Calendar Info. So just like any event schedule view, the day, month, or week view, the calendar info object is also going to hold information that is being displayed from within the GAN view control. And any updates being made are going to relate back to the calendar info object so you have the, your model in sync with your view. So once we have the required components on the page, let's go back to some co the code view and write some code. So I have some pre-existing code just to kind of uh, see what's needed to get a simple information of project being displayed into the Gantt view. Let me align this a little bit. Okay, so we have these five lines of code um, just to kind of understand how you can create projects, uh, create summary projects, add tasks to it, and get a, an information displayed right within the Gantt view. The, there is data binding mechanism right within calendar info that you can use. Uh, there's some other information, there are other features of the Gantt view itself that you can use. Again, to just keep this demo simple and just get started, we'll not look into and get into too much detail. But there will be other videos, so be sure to ch check our community site to learn more about the Gantt view control. So, what we have here is, again, the Gantt view and the calendar info that's on the form. So, what we're doing is we're connecting the view to the model. So, we we're saying that the kind of info object that the, the Gantt view is going to use is the kind of info control that's on the form. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to add a simple project and some tasks to it. And it's very simple because now we have new API methods and collections that sit right within the kind of info object that can that will allow you to create projects and tasks just for the Gantt view. And then what's going to happen at runtime is that the Gantt view is going to pull that information to display the view that is that you expect it to. So in the calendar info object, I can go directly into this project selection and I can say add a new project. And just by calling this uh, add method, you can create a text for your project. And then you can say what date or time you want to start this project from. Next, I'm going to add some tasks to my project. So I'm using the task collection in the calendar info. And I'm just calling add method, just like I did with the projects. I'm setting up a start date time, the time span for my task, and the text for the task. Now you could have a, a task within a task because it's it, it's a project, so you could have some uh, a, a, a higher level task, and there could be subtask, and so on and so forth. So this is what I'm doing in these two lines here because I've added added a, uh, a high, higher level task. I'm adding subtask to that to this task here, so I can ping uh, task zero, which I just added. And I can just go ahead uh, and add some more tasks into its task collection. So as you can see here, I'm just calling the same add method, uh, and it's adding subtasks to the main task here. Time span, recording videos, and then another task underneath that with a, with a different video, video that's been recorded. So just by adding this information into the calendar info object and connecting it to the Gantt view, let's see what we've got at runtime. So now when I run this application, you can see that I have a simple Gantt view control 
but just by using simple API methods I have added some task and basically kind of started creating my project my image project like interface and functionality right within my application so you have this uh, this main level task which was recording videos you get a summary bar for it and then there are subtasks that recording the Gantt video and record the Windows 7 style video which are basically subtasks for the for my main item here and you get uh, these bars displayed for the uh, for the for the task here in the chart view uh, again, on the left-hand side is basically a trimmed-down wind grid, so you have a lot of features that are available in wind grid, uh, like column sizing, row sizing. You even have a column chooser, which is basically uh, being used for choosing the fields from a project or a task that you want to display within this view, or you want to end user kind of customize that view. So here, you, I can say percentage complete. I want to display that. I want to display deadlines. Just now, I want to display all these fields. So I can just come here. And, and choose the fields that I want to display. And you will see that the Gantt view will kind of start um, adjusting itself. You have a splitter bar uh, in the in the chart view. You have these bars being displayed, which you can easily drag and drop to kind of um, uh, change settings. So you can allow any user to do that. Uh, you will see that the, the views will be in sync at all times. So if I drag a task to be longer than it, 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 it needs to be, so if I can move here, You'll see that the uh, it will update from 1.7 days. Uh, I can when I hover on it, I get a nice tooltip. If I if I collapse the parent task, you'll see that the information on the right hand side would disappear because there are, uh, the rows here uh, are different. Uh, and when I expand it, you will see a detailed summary bars or task bars as well. So again, um, I hope in this short video you learn how to get started with the Ultra Game View. Thanks for watching. Infragistics on the web at infragistics.com.